Today, we will be testing the real indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the real indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 51 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We have also tested a total of 694 indicators with 278 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. Okay, so today's indicator is the real indicator and you can see it here on the bottom of the screen and so basically what we have is a series of bands or channels uh, that are um, contracting and expanding on themselves uh, creating kind of again the sideways channel type look and then we have the oscillating line kind of moving down the center of it uh, bouncing up and down between those bands and then you can see that we get these areas shaded in red. And if I scroll back enough here, you can see that we get these areas also shaded in green. And so I'm sure you can probably see where this one is heading. Uh, what we're looking for is when the oscillating line gets up into these areas and we pick up that uh, shading in red or that shading in green. Um, so there is actually... I know it's kind of hard to see, but there are actually a few different shades depending on um, how many of these bands the oscillating line uh, goes uh, goes outside of. And so you can see that there's actually a, a dark gray looking uh, bands or channel. Then there's slightly, you can see a green and you can barely see a red also poking out there. And so depending on how far the oscillating line makes it beyond uh, each channel is uh, how dark the uh, red and green actually appears. The farther, the more channels it goes beyond is the darker green it's going to show up as. Let's see if we can't go in and make a slight modification doesn't look like we can nope unfortunately we can't okay so what we're looking for is going to be the darker green or the darker red and so there are instances where it barely glances off here for example and it's a very sh uh, slight shade of red we're actually looking for that darker tone of red. And so if I zoom in right here, you can see we have the light shade of red here, the darker shade of red there. If I go back a little bit, you can see that we have the darker green here, the lighter shades of green there. 
And so I hope all that makes sense. That just means that we have a little bit better chance, hopefully, of uh, of getting a move in the correct direction we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. Uh, one more thing that I did fail to mention as well. So what we're looking for, uh, we are looking for the green shades, but what we are looking for is when that line actually crosses back into the center and it loses the colors that we are looking for. And so uh, when it goes into the dark green, if it still continues to maintain a green shade, we're looking for when we lose all the color, all the green uh, falls out, uh, disappears, then we are going to go long. When uh, we get the red side, same deal, we're looking for that dark red, but we're looking for the point to where all the color disappears and then we are going to go short. So uh, that's one other aspect that we're playing with here. So let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so the first signal that we pick up is a long signal. We get that drop down here. We get the shade of dark green that we're looking for. It maintains a green background for a little while there, a green shade, and then it finally loses that background right here. There on this candle, we get a nice push to the upside there as we go long, and that is enough to get us to our take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so the next signal that we pick up is a short signal. Again, we get that darker red shade right here. It maintains that red for a little while as we move forward. And then right here, we lose all the coloration there. And that would be a short entry. Unfortunately, we get a push to the upside as soon as we would have entered into that trade, which would have stopped us out. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the testing. That way things don't get too long and we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that's gonna put us at the end right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in selling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, and trading philosophy in general. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested. That comes in an Excel version and a PDF version. And you will get that full list of indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates and links to go back and review those individual strategies. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's take a look at our indicator here. Here we go. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Let's count it out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The so seven trades all together. And we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six winning trades. And so that is going to meet the 60% criteria that we are looking for. Definitely wish it gave more trades within the one year's time. Um, but it seemed like it did. Uh, it did 
uh, give signals rather accurately. It wasn't too bad. It's definitely seeming to catch uh, when the price action is getting overextended in one direction or another. And uh, yeah, doing a, a pretty good job, like I said, of uh, kind of identifying where those potential reversal points may be taking place. And so, um, yeah, all in all, pretty solid. This one is going to go on the yes list and we'll move on to the next indicator from here.